welcome to Koi Chronicles. And in this chronicle, finally, we're going to be moving the Kahaku over from the grow on under the polytunnel into the main pond. I've got on top of the fluke situation now, so it's pretty much safe to bring her in and the water temperatures are pretty much the same. Welcome new and old subscribers. It's great to have you here. Really do appreciate you new people. And for those of you who don't know, I brought this Kahaku way back in February. It's now June the 24th, 2020. So it's been in here about four and a little bit months. And it's done really well. It's got, it's grown really well, actually. I can't, I can't believe it myself, but uh, it's got wider than it. It's got longer and obviously I needed to get it out of there pretty soon, but dealing with the parasites, you know, I wasn't too sure of just getting the correct time, but the temperatures, great in both setups. They're all like, this one's 20.5 and the grow one's 21.5. So there's only one degree in it, but we're at high temperatures. So we're gonna bring her over. As you can see, I've got the Japanese floating water basket out. Just literally gonna be netting her, socking her, bring her straight over, dropping her into the basket so we can all appreciate her. There's a little bit of a tape measure on the top of it, so I'll just weigh it up and just let you know what the length of her is from base of the body, tail, and then tail end as well. I'm interested to see what sort of size she's put on. So she was only about 30 centimeters, but gotta be, you know, touching 34 now, 35 something, maybe, maybe pushing 40 to the end of its tail. So without further ado, let's get over into the polytunnel. Let's check these little guys out. And let's get this big girl out of there and get her over into the main pond where hopefully, touch wood, we're taking the plunge and we're going to all cross our fingers and hope she does really well. So any comments, anything you've seen, anything you want to know, please drop it in the comment section below. It's always good to hear from you guys and other obvious and supporters. So let's get on with the video. Let's get into it. I've got a little bit of a Tancho problem as well, but I'll catch you a little later. Here's the fishing question. I'm hoping I can do a nice, swift, stealthy operation. They're all quite comfortable, feeding really well. As you can see, I'll be interested to see if the Kahaku behaves like this over in the main pond, but we'll see. Water temperatures are 21.5, as I mentioned earlier, and 20.5 over in the main pond. So it's an ideal day to bring her over. Just literally gonna be socking her and walking her straight over and dropping her into the basket so we can all have a look. I've had a bit of an issue with the Tancho. It's been about a week now, but last week, absolutely fine. The next day, a bit of a red mark and raised scales on a side. I'll drop the video in so you can all literally see what I could see. That was about a week ago. Seems to be, you know, not as sore or not getting any worse. So if anybody's got any ideas, Put it into the comment section. It'll be great to uh, listen to any other professional or hobbyists to see what they think. But I'll drop the footage in now. Thank you. 
Hope you all enjoyed that footage. I didn't when I watched it last week. For those of you who are in the Facebook group, you'd know that that's old footage and that was maybe about eight days ago now. Things are looking a lot better. It's got, it's not getting any worse. It's It's got slightly better, so I'm pretty happy. It's feeding, it's moving around. It was quite lethargic about a week ago, but I think hopefully, touch wood, I'm over the hill with that one. But anybody who's got any kind of inkling on what that could have been, what it is, drop it in the comments section. I'll be much appreciated on hearing about that topic and subject. I've got the pan net. Just going to use this nice and slow. No fast actions. This fish is quite tame. It will go belly on top of the pan. No problem at all. And we'll just scare across the top of the water. Grab her with the sock. And then she's only got a three second journey over to the main pond. I'll obviously bring you over on the journey with me. Just enjoy the next bit of footage. Sit back. Relax. I get some great imagery in the blue Japanese water basket. We'll give her a quick message and then we'll have a quick chat again at the end of the video. So like I say, just relax and enjoy. As the text says, wish her well. She's in there. Wasn't really a stressful move. No stress really at all for the fish. Just a different piece of water. She should be fine in there. I'll be monitoring her closely over the next couple of days or so. So let me know in the comments section what you think. And fingers crossed everybody and wish her well. I'd like to thank everybody 
on the appreciation of the fractionator video. Everybody seemed to enjoy themselves with that one and had some fun. Dropping me photos over in the Facebook group, showing me what you've come up with as well. Well, I've been toying again, so this is Mark II. I'll take you over in the filter house to let you have a quick look around. Hopefully the camera will hold out and you can see some decent footage of it. I'll quickly lay the GoPro all around it and let you see. Don't forget about the Japanese floating water basket. I've got another one of those and if you want to win it, subscribe to the channel. The minute I get over a thousand subscribers, I will give it away. It'll be a question. So here's Mark II. It's been, it's been performing. It's been doing really well. I think this is going to become a permanent fixture. But more about that in another video. So if you've liked the video, please like it. Subscribe. Hit that bell below. And then that way you'll be notified each time I upload a video automatically. So please hit the bell. Get them notifications. There's loads of content on this channel. Good and bad, I'm sure. But you can kill a load of time on this channel. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all the messages I get. This Japanese floating water basket will be going once they get to 1,000 subscribers. And until then, here's a couple of playlists. Get yourself comfy. Kill some time. There's loads of content. Take care. Watch yourself out there. And bye for now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.